And would you believe this? A spell of bad weather in mid-July of 2020 caused the formation of a small landmass known in a small city in the Maldives. More from Steffi Diwan joining us live. Steffi. Yes, Alma. In the middle of July, bad weather formations in the Indian Ocean affected all regions of the Maldives. Regions of the country observed tidal waves, storm surges, and also sea swells. Two days after the weather calmed down, a newly formed island was spotted in the vicinity of Ismahila Hira, an island located near Ado City, Gan Atoll. Measuring nearly one kilometer or 3,000 feet, the new island mass rises at around 2.20 meters or 6 to 7 feet above sea level. Nalafehi Environmental Organization reported areas measuring up to 8 meters width. Ado City Council's MEDU member Hussein Hiya said that the form of rocks or what they call them, Hurugandu, was formed on the Futaru side of the island. The Futaru side of an island is one that does not have a natural beach and where waves keep on crashing. On the Futaru side where waves crash, rocks were deposited, it is pretty long, around 3,000 feet. It is like a seawall, a natural barrier or fortification. From the coast of Ismahila Hira, we called it Kedavahira. Adjacent to Kedavahira, it is there towards the Hitadu side, Husahin Hishia said. An environmental expert said that the formation of the Hurugandu was due to the recent bad weather. Similar land masses had been created before in the Maldives due to the storm surges and tidal waves depositing rocks. The experts said, however, note that the land mass form in Ado City was a relatively large one. Members of Nalapehi Environmental Organization planted trees a few days after the official discovery, and nature will hopefully do the rest. State Minister Abdullah Nasir said that this is how islands are formed here in Maldives. This is how islands originally formed through such hurugandu. The deposition of hura, akiri, and sand in one location for a long time leads the sandbank to form into an island. They can sometimes erode while turning into an island as well, Dr. Nasir said. He said that if appropriate condition for the formation of an island is maintained, the sandbank could eventually turn into an island. Islands are formed when waves, sea, and other factors allow the deposition of sand over and over to the location, said Dr. Nasir. Previous instances of such island formation include the formation of Udafushi Island in Male Atoll. The island was formed in a spell of storms during 1987. According to an environmental expert, the island was also formed as a small hurugandu at first before eventually turning it into the island known as Udafushi. Well, let's just hope that this newborn island will one day become another natural wonder of Maldives. This is your Maldives Bureau, Stephanie Huan, reporting.